Welcome to the Italian Wine Course. This is part six. And in today's lesson, we're gonna cover the essential topic of native wine grapes of Italy. We'll cover what native wine grapes are, why they're important, because they will affect not only the way you think about Italian wine and wine in general, but it will probably change the way you taste wine for the rest of your life. Tony Margiotti here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on the next videos of this Italian wine course and much more. Back to our Pentagon of Wine graph. As you know, the Pentagon of Wine is your way of organizing massive amounts of info about Italian wine into five general buckets. Native grapes get their own corner on the Pentagon because uh, apart from the location of the vineyard, the grape varietal has the biggest impact on the taste of the wine in your glass. So I'd like to begin this lesson with a trick question. Is Cabernet Sauvignon a grape or a wine? Most of the time, I get 50% of people saying that uh, the answer is it's a grape, and the other 50% say that it's a wine. The answer is both. Cabernet Sauvignon is the name of the red grape varietal that turns into Cabernet Sauvignon wine. Um, that's where the name comes from. Then you've got other very famous wines like Sauvignon Blanc, Merlot, Chardonnay. These are actually names of native French grape varietals. Today, those wines are called international varietals because countries throughout the world cultivate these grapes and make wine with them. But just know that they really originate from France and are technically native French grapes. These are the most popular wines in the world on this chart here. But take a look at this map. This is all, these, these are all the wine producing regions throughout the world. The green areas are the new world wines. The orange areas are the old world wines. And there's an estimated 8,000 different types of native grapes that are used for winemaking throughout the world. I just named like a handful of them and they all happen to originate from France. But what's interesting is that Italy has an estimated 2,000 different types of native wine grapes used for winemaking. And if that's true, Italy contains, this tiny little country contains 25% of all the world's wine grapes. One out of every four wine grapes in the world are native Italian grapes. Now, depending on who you talk to, you'll get a different estimate as to how many native grapes exist in Italy. I've heard numbers as low as 500. I've heard numbers more than 2,000. And the fact is, is that no one really knows the exact number and probably no one will ever know the exact number. But even if it turned out to be just 500 native grape varietals, you still can't learn them all. I can't learn them all, but it will be fun trying because it's not that important for you to memorize 500 different grape names. It's more important that you taste as many of them as you, as you can. But when it comes to wine, tasting is just as important, if not more so, than reading about wine. Think of it this way. One sip of good wine contains all the words in a chapter. One good bottle contains all the ideas of a book. Mm -hmm. So, what exactly is a native grape? Well, a grape used for winemaking that's been growing in the same place for at least a thousand years. Many Italian grape varietals have been growing in Italy for over 3,000 years. So there has to be a long history and tradition of cultivating this varietal in its native origin for at least a thousand years. And over that time, the grape has developed a relationship, a geological relationship between the soil, the climate, and the terrain where it inhabits. And when it does that, it creates a unique wine with distinct flavors, textures, and aromas. Now, native grape varietals could also be thought of at like local wines because they're directly attached to the people that inhabit the same place as that grape varietal. So grape varietals can become extinct as well. So it's important that the local winemakers that value the traditions of their culture and value what was left to them by their ancestors to sort of pick up the torch and make wine with these grapes. 
Otherwise, they could be lost forever. Let's take a look at a few different grape varietals just to give you a little bit more context here. I've got three different red grape varietals that are native to Italy. I've got, uh, and as you can see, they're sort of bluish in color. There's Ianico, Barbera, and Canonao. Now, notice how different they look from each other, um, especially the, the color of the grape skin, okay? And there's other things that make them different visually as well, which is the vine and the canopy, the leaves, etc. All these things really sort of differentiate one native grape varietal from another. So it's natural that uh, uh, from going from one grape varietal to the other, just from a visual standpoint, it's different. Naturally, the taste in your glass will be different as well. Here's another grape varietal called Pericone. Notice that color. And look, another thing to notice is the size of the berries, which is another visual characteristic that is different from the others. As you can see here, the Canonao grape berries are rather large, as well as Ayanico, whereas Barbera is a little bit smaller. And I forgot to mention Catarato, a white varietal from Sicily. And notice how big the cluster is there. Now, this stuff is sort of like finite details. Um, I'm only showing you these pictures really just to illustrate the point that there really is that much variety of taste out there, aromas, textures, flavors, etc in Italian wines, and it's more, there's more variety than any other wine producing country in the world. In fact, there are more native grape, varietal, grape varietals in Italy than uh, France, Greece, and Spain put together. So it's a very, very important concept to uh, sort of wrap your, wrap your head around. Now, in the Italian wine world, native wines are really going through a renaissance right now, meaning that Many smaller artisanal wineries are rejecting the French varietals and, in, and sort of gravita gravitating uh, towards the native grapes that have been part of their local history for thousands of years. Some varietals have been known to make great wines for centuries, like Nebbiolo, for example, while other varietals are virtually unheard of outside of the local town where it comes from. And while all these native Italian wines keep popping up in wine shops throughout the world, native wines are certainly not a new thing. Take a look at this book. Pliny the Elder, a Roman author and naturalist, wrote about the abundance of wine grapes all over the peninsula in this very book called Historia Naturalis, or Natural History. And that was written 2,000 years ago. And he documented in this book many different native Italian grape varietals throughout the book. So native wines have been a part of the Italian peninsula for thousands of years. That's why the Greeks called Italy Enotria, the land of wine. You've seen this regional map of Italy before in previous videos. Um, inside every region, you will find its own native grapes. So there are some Italian varietals, native Italian varietals, like Sangiovese and like Montepulciano that you will find all over Italy. While there are other varietals uh, found in just the southern regions like Aianico, but there are varietals like Pericone, which I just mentioned, which can only be found in its native region of Sicily. Then you've got varietals like Canonao from Sardinia, which were once thought to be Grenache from France or Garnacha from Spain, but recently discovered that Caronao is actually its own native grape and it is unique to the island of Sardinia. Now, let's take a look at this graphic for, for a second. Um, there are types of Italian wines which are literally named after the grape varietal that's used to make that wine. So, um, for example, Primitivo is a native grape in the south of Italy, uh, predominantly in the Puglia region, but you will find it in several southern regions. That's the name of the grape. But you will all, and, and you will see the name of the grape on the front label of a bottle of wine. It'll just say Primitivo right on the front. But sometimes you'll see the name of the grape and the town where it comes from on the front label, for example. 
Primitivo di Manduria, you will see on a front label, um, which is really just distinguishing it from all the other places in South Italy where Primitivo comes from. Uh, so it's specifically telling you it's coming from the appellation of Manduria, which is actually a very important one for this varietal. Then sometimes you'll see uh, the grape varietal and the area, the geographical area where it is grown, which is typically a, a larger uh, territory. For example, Primitivo Salento, you will see on bottles of wine sometimes, but they're all made with the same grape varietal. Now here's where Italian wines can get a little bit complicated. Uh, and that is there are types of Italian wines that do not have the native grape written on the front label. And so I just wanted to give you some examples of that. The world famous wine Chianti is predominantly made with the native grape called Sangiovese. It has a few other grapes as well, but uh, it's, it's typically 85% to 100% Sangiovese. Then you have the world famous Barolo, arguably one of the greatest wines in the world. And that is named, uh, or that is uh, made with the native grape called Nebbiolo. Now Barolo happens to be a town in Northern Italy, just like Chianti is a town in Northern Italy as well. Barolo is found in the Northwest in the Piemonte region and Chianti is a town in the region of Tuscany, okay? And then finally, another example, Soave, which is found in the Veneto region in Northeastern Italy. That's made predominantly with a white grape called Garganega. And so basically, you know, how do you know, you know, whether the wine is named after a place or a grape, which is the, the natural question to have. And so the short answer is, you need to tackle native wine grapes in two ways. First, go watch my Italian wine regions crash course. There's a link in the description below. And if you're looking for something even faster to explore native wines of Italy, you can watch uh, the nine native wine grapes you should explore. And that video link is in the description as well. So that's it for now for Italy's native wine grapes. Until next time, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next videos about Italian wine and so much more. And I will see you in the next video.